Welcome back. Um, this is now the conclusion of Dynamics Worksheet number five, Conservation Momentum, and we're doing questions six and seven in Full Work Solution. All right, um, question six is giving us a diagram where we have two collisions of two snooker balls as shown, and both of the masses of the balls in before um, are the same. So that's, that mass is the same as that mass, and this is the after picture over here. Uh, using the diagrams, we have to justify momentum is co um, conserved in the collision. So let's, to justify cons conservation of momentum, momentum, sorry, excuse me, um, question six, let's just get this working. Uh, you see that? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, question six, um, so we know a momentum before must equal momentum after. So if we prove that this is true, that momentum before final momentum is equal to initial momentum, uh, then uh, we have uh, confirmed the um, momentum um, is conserved. Okay. So what's the momentum initial? Well, we don't know the mass of the ball, so we're just going to say it's m, and we know the velocity of the first ball is 2, and the second one is the mass is also m, but the velocity is 0. So the initial momentum is 2m. The final momentum would be, um, according to our diagram, the velocities of each of these balls is shown over here. So the first ball has a mass of m and it's now traveling at 0 0.5. And the second ball also has a mass of m and it's traveling at 1.5. And they're both in the same direction. They're all this direction. So therefore they're both positive numbers. So that is 0.5m plus 1.5m, adding them together you get 2m. Therefore, momentum before is equal to momentum final and therefore conserved. In that case, uh, we have justified that it's, con um, it's been conserved. B says, if after the collision the first ball had a forward velocity of 7.5, so... Um, uh, sorry, let's see. after the collision, the first ball had a forward velocity of 7.5. What would be the velocity of the second ball? Doesn't make really sense, does it? Uh, the first ball had a velocity of oh, oh, okay. Well, it's saying uh, this is um, this is a what if statement. So uh, we've got to pretend that um, this is now being replaced by this. So um, Instead of, at the moment, we have the first, this ball having a velocity of um, 0 0.5, it's now 0 0.75, and we're asked, what would this be? We know that they have to equal 2m. So this would have to be 1.25 um, uh, metres per second, because these two have to add up to 2. Okay. Rightio, sorry about that. I've just <laughs> reading that question just is very awkwardly uh, phrased, I'm afraid. Sorry, that's my fault. Question seven. Um, the table below shows the initial and final velocities of a collision between a five kilogram and an eight kilogram mass. Okay, so there's the and final, um, sorry, initials, five and two, and the final are uh, 12 and a half and six. Okay. Um, we are assuming that um, positive numbers means they're moving to the right. Um, so show that the momentum is conserved. To show con momentum is conserved, we are going to do the same thing we just did before. Um, we have to prove that momentum initial is equal to momentum final. So the initial momentum would be, um, so it's a five kilogram, so it's the eight kilogram mass according to our, our table. So there's our table again. The 8 kilogram times 15 plus uh, would be the momentum of that, and the 5 times 2 would be the initial momentum of that one. So it's 8 times 15 plus two, uh, 5 times 2. Using the calculator now to do that, that's 8, eight times 15 plus, uh, that's 10, second number. So that's 130 newton seconds. Momentum final, um, using the table again, that would be 8 times 12.5 and 5 times 6. 
So it's 8 times 12.5 and 5 times 6. Putting those two together, it's 8 times 12.5 plus, that's 30. That's 130 Newton seconds. Therefore, initial momentum is equal to final momentum, therefore conserved. Conserved. That says conserved. It's just scribbled there. Right. Now, we are asked in B, so that's A, in B, we're asked to show that this is an inelastic collision. In other words, though energy is conserved, kinetic energy will not be conserved. So in B, it says show that kin kinetic energy is not conserved. So in other words, we are losing energy to sound or heat or something else. Okay. So let's do the initial kinetic energy. That will be a half m, um, well, half m eight kilogram mass. Um, um, oh, sorry, it's a half m v squared plus the other half m v squared. Okay, so that's one mass uh, a a b b. Okay, so. This is the mass, this is the eight kilogram mass, this is the five kilogram mass, this is initial velocities and so on. Right, so this is the first one, that's a half times eight times 15 squared, plus the other one is a half times five times two squared. Okay, so this is the sum of the kinetic energies before. Adding those together, we get 0.5, oops, I'll make it so you can see it, what I'm doing. So 0.5 times 8 times 15 squared plus 0.5 times 5 times 2 squared, that's 910 joules. So that's how much um, kinetic energy we have initially. Doing the same thing with the final, will be a half times eight, but the 15, um, the 15 kilogram, sorry, the 15 meters per second has now reduced to 12 and a half. So that's 12.5 squared, plus the other one has gone up to six. Okay, calculating that one. So that will be 0 0.5 times eight times 12.5 squared plus 0 0.5 times 5 times 6 squared. That's 715 joules. So what have we discovered there? Let's write that up. Therefore, um, kinetic energy at the initial is not equal to the kinetic energy at the final. Therefore, kinetic energy is not conserved. Now remember, this does not mean that energy isn't conserved. It is just simply saying that kinetic energy is not conserved. So the kinetic energy has to, we've lost energy here. So um, how much have we lost? We've got 910 minus the answer. It's 195 joules has been lost. So it's we've gone down by 195 joules. So where has this gone? Okay. So the last question there is saying, Explain why it doesn't contradict the law of conservation of energy. This energy is total energy. That means potential and um, kinetic and sound and heat. It's all the energies of initially have to equal all the energies afterwards. Just kinetic energy is one of those energies. So some of this kinetic energy um, during the collision has been lost. So this 195 joules has been converted into something else. So it's 195 joules of, what could it be? Sound, heat, um, what else could it be? Okay, um, we don't know the nature of these collisions, okay? Um, it could be deformation, deforming energy, energy of deformations, and all those type of things. So um, that's 195 is a large amount of loss there. Okay. Also, it could be that this slight explosion, the, the mass, this could, mass could have been torn apart and we have irreversible damage there. Okay. Radio, I hope you were successful at this worksheet.